Hello, lovely kindergartners. It is Mr. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing so well. I am excited today because for the past 24 lessons, we've been working so hard on counting and organizing and sorting and um, identifying numbers and writing numbers from zero all the way through nine. And today, we are finally at the number 10, which I am so excited for. Are you excited? So today we'll do a quick warm up. We're going to do sunrise and sunset counting. Then we'll get into our application problems. We'll work with some beans and some cubes with a letter with the number 10, <laughs> not a letter. And then you will do your problem set and we'll talk about what we learned. So that is our schedule for math today, as always. Um, today, if you have something to count with, that would be so cool to count along with me. But if not, totally fine. You can just follow along with what I'm doing. Well, let's get started today with um, sunrise counting and sunset counting. Then I'll share my screen with you, okay? So I'm going to stand up from my desk. I'm going to push my chair in here. And let's start off small, and then we'll get bigger and we'll sunrise and then we'll sunset. We'll count all the way to 10 and then all the way back down. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you can't see me. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, now sunset. Count down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Good work. All right, come back, come back, come back. Let me share my screen with you and we'll get started on our lesson. All right, Whew. that was fun. Okay, so in lesson 25, our goal today will be to count 10 objects in a line in an array configurations and we'll match them with the number 10. All right, here we go. We're going to get right to our application problem because that was that was our fluency warm up, our sunrise sunset counting. Oh, too far. Okay, let's make a group of nine smiley faces. So count with me to nine. Ready? One, two, three. I'm just going to make them scattered. Four, five, six, seven eight, nine. Okay, because I kind of just put these scattered all over the place, let's draw a counting path with a pen here. Let's see. I'm gonna use a screen one. Okay, ready? I'm gonna start and stop right here. One, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop. I did it. Nine uh, smiley faces. We did it right. Thank you for helping me count. Okay, now, what would happen if we added one more? We would have nine, ten. Good work. And that is our number of the day, ten. Okay, let's take five of these beans from the back and put them on our five group map. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now help me count out four more beans. One, two, three, four. Okay, how many beans do we have now? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should we fill our map? I think we should fill our map. How many more beans do we need? Just this one little lonely one, right? Okay, let's fill our map and now let's count the beans. So we had nine, so nine and one more is 10. What do you notice about these beans too? I see five in one row and then five in another row. So 10 is the same as five and five. That makes 10. All right, now let's look at it in a different way. Let's look at cubes. What do you see here? I see five red cubes, five red cubes in one row, 
find blue cubes in another row. Five red, five blue. Now let's put them into two different towers. One tower of red and one tower of blue. Okay, here we go. Here's one tower of red and one tower of blue. How many do we have all together? 10, five and five is 10. Okay, now let's take our tower apart in a special way. We're gonna take off one red and one blue and put them in a little row on the mat. So one red, one blue. How many cubes are in the row? Two. Okay, now let's make a um, row underneath that's exactly the same. So one red, one blue. Cool, let's do it again. One red, one blue. Again, one red, one blue. All right, one more time. One red and one blue. Now all our cubes are gone. What do you notice? I notice a pattern. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Wait, red, blue, red, blue, red. Cool. What else do you notice? I notice that they, we have a column of red here, a column of blue, a column of red, a column of blue, and then we have one extra blue, which is okay. That's because we started over with our pattern up here. And so that's why we got a little bit, we, we ended our pattern right there. So we got a little off track, but that's okay. It still works pretty good. Okay, now let's look at this one different way. What happens if we turn the mat like this? What do you see? The same thing, right? How many cubes do we have? 10, still 10 cubes. We have five um, in one column and five in another column. Five red, five blue, five and five. We're just in columns now instead of rows. Columns go down, rows go across. All right, let me show you your exit ticket for the day now. Here we are. Oops, that's not right. <laughs> there we are, my computer is being silly today. Okay, here you are with lesson 25. Okay, you're gonna count how many rhombuses. Some people might call these diamonds, but these are actually rhombuses. Diamonds are 3D shapes. This is a rhombus. How many squares? Choose. Then down here, something different. You're going to count the circles. And then I want you to decide how many more circles do you need to make 10? You tell me, all right? And that is your job today. Whew. All right, we did a lot of counting. And today I think our biggest discovery was that 10 inside 10 is 5 and 5. And we also briefly discussed 9 and one makes 10, right? Nine and one. Don't worry, in kindergarten, we're gonna spend so much time breaking apart the number 10 because there are so many hidden partners to 10. I think I said that in an earlier math lesson, right? There are so many hidden partners to 10. So we'll spend a lot of time breaking the number 10 down. Today was just a quick intro lesson to get you thinking about the number 10. But if you have some um, manipulatives or some things that you've been counting with, try and see what other things you can break down with the number 10. Eight and two, seven and three, four and six. See what you can find, all right? That would be your extra challenge for the day. Thank you so much for following along with me, and I will see you next lesson where we will practice more with 10, and we'll start writing 10 too. All right, have a great rest of your day. Bye, kindergartner.